In this video, I'm going to show you how you can semi-automate the creation of a detail view uh, in a production drawing. Uh, so we often use detail views to show a particular area um, in more detail. Um, and usually it becomes a very manual process of creating it. So what I created here is just a way that you can automate it. Uh, there's still a recipe, meaning that you have to follow a particular steps in particular order, uh, but it still streamlines the the process quite a bit. So one thing to note is that you need to have um, Express Tools installed, and you know that if you have it installed, if you have this Express Tools uh, tab uh, on your menu, if you don't, you'll have to install it, install it by selecting the option during uh, installation or um, repair of your installation. Uh, so the commands that I will be using here, starting off, will be uh, using the CUI editor. Um, so the very first thing to do in the CUI editor, and this is where we're going to create the command, uh, create an icon for it, and add it to a ribbon, just so that we have a button to press. Uh, There's not really a need to do that, but it just makes it look a little bit nicer here. Uh, so first thing is to select your main customization. I'm using mechanical, so mine has ACAD M, but if you just have uh, AutoCAD, it'll just be ACAD. And the next uh, step is to uh, create a new command. Uh, so you want to click this button over here. So the process does take a while. So first thing is we want to enter the command name. I'm just going to call it uh, SI detail view. Uh, the command display name, which I can have spaces. And the next is uh, the macro. So if you select on um, the column here in the row and you click the lisp, you will have a screen. And this is where you actually start entering your command. Uh, so this is just where you enter the values that are in my either my blog post or on this YouTube uh, description. Uh, as you can see here, I use uh, VP Sync, uh, which is a command that is part of the Express Tools, which is why you need Express Tools installed. Uh, but pretty much everything else is just a pure AutoCAD uh, command, so there's nothing um, really special about it. I do use uh, five here, you'll see five in two places. And this is just, uh, I'm creating a detail view that is five times uh, the size of my original uh, source view. And you can change this to be whatever you want. It's just uh, what I use in this example. Uh, so once you click OK, you want to click Apply. So we've created the command. Now we actually have to add it to uh, the ribbon. Uh, so I'm going to do that by first adding a tab or a panel. So the panel is uh, this component here. And I'm just going to uh, call it uh, SSI details. And then what you'll want to do is to find your command that you created, which is this SSI detail view by entering it in the search string and click and dragging it to uh, the SSI Utilities row. Uh, actually, one thing I did forget is to add a icon, which you could add an icon, which I uh, accidentally forgot. And uh, we can double click on that, which takes me back to the command and select an icon. So this just makes it a little bit nicer. And then you want to go back up um, and expand the tabs. And we have to add our panel to one of these tabs. And um, I will be adding it to the add-ins because I believe it is empty or virtually empty. So you find the panel that we created. And you select it and drag it all the way to the add-ins tab. So the CUI editor is not uh, the best UI editor. <laughs> um, but once you get your job done, you don't really have to deal with it very often. So, And here's the add-in tab. So now in the add-in tab, we'll have our SI utilities with our icon. So we can just close this and accept the changes. And now if we go to the add-ins tab, we should see our SSI utils with our command. So to execute this, now it's just a command. You can just uh, select the command. Uh, before I do that, we'll have to pick an area. Um, Let's pick something over here that we just want to show some detailing in this area. 
so we run the command. Uh, you'll have to select the center point of where you want your view to be. Uh, then you have to pick the radius and of the circle. And the only reason I use the circle is no particular reason. I could have used a rectangle or any other shape. So once I select the radius, uh, now I have to select uh, the same center point again. So you can see that it created a, a viewport and has all my objects in there. But the command's still not complete. And this is where I use one of the express tools uh, called VP, uh, VP Sync. And I have to select the viewport that my object's in, which uh, scales it properly. And then now I have to move this uh, to the location where I want it. And just like that, I created a detail view of that particular area here. And I can uh, dimension and add any other information that I require. So hopefully that was useful.